Thanks for joining me uh, for another edition of Desert Trail Cam. It was a hot, long summer, and the animal activity on the trail cam has died down a little bit, or I should say that it's changed. This is the first month without any javelina. It's also another month without any bobcats. I don't know where they went, and I hope they'll be back. This was the only deer I captured on the cam this month. Before we get too far into the video, I'll mention that I have an article about game cameras. It's in the August edition of Border Lore. Uh, Border Lore is the publication of the Southwest Folklife Alliance, and I'll put a link to that down in the description. This little antelope squirrel is just digging away. The coyotes that appeared on the cam this month looked quite young, and I did not notice the coyote with the missing patch of fur on her tail that was so prevalent last month. This wash is only big enough for one cottontail. My cameras picked up hundreds of pictures of quail, doves, and rabbits the, this month. It was a lo took a long time to sort through. You can see the size of this rabbit relative to the rock on the left. And I point that out so that when you see this cat coming up, you won't think it's a mountain lion. Here's a rock squirrel. I haven't seen one of those in the area for quite some time. Between August 11th and the 16th, I got a lot of this, and that, and them, and those. Somewhere in that time period, I found a dead dove in the yard, and I tossed it back there, and I was able to catch one of nature's most beautiful acts. Little does the coyote know what its dinner has been through. It can't be fun to be a mama dove feeding a baby this size. Look how forcefully it shoves its beak down her throat. Here they are doing it again. Something that I write about in my Border Lore article is the Sky Island Alliance Photo Fauna Program. Sky Island Alliance is a conservation group in southern Arizona, and Photofauna is a program that asks hobbyist game camera users like myself to submit images of local species once a month to create a data set of species distribution data. It's really fun, it's easy to get involved, and I'll put a link down in the description. If you have a game camera and you live uh, in the southwest, I suggest you uh, get involved. Here's a curved build thrasher. My neighbor's dog has made it into my yard again. It's only one time in a month. I don't really mind. I like dogs, but it does make me wonder what the impact of this dog leaving its odor and scent around is on the other animals, potentially things like bobcats. Not such a good sport about seeing domestic cats outside, as you'd know if you've seen other videos. They compete with the local animals like the roadrunners and coyotes and bobcats for prey, but domestic cats don't have any right to the prey in the Sonoran Desert. This is the first time that I've seen a turkey vulture on my cam. It's pretty exciting. They're quite large birds and just such iconic desert animals. 
Looks like it found a dead lizard or something and gobbled it down before its friends could show up. I'm currently trying out a new game camera and I'm looking for a new location to add to this series. Maybe next month or sometime in the fall I'll feature a new location. I hope that next month we see some bobcats and some javelina again. I really get excited to see those. But either way I appreciate everyone watching the video and uh, until next month. Thanks again.